Well, here with copper medalist at this year's ISA World Surfing Games from Team Spain, qualified as an Olympic surfer, Nadia Erostarbe. First of all, Nadia, muchas felicidades. Congratulations on being named an Olympian. What's the experience like so far in Tahiti? Well, thank you so much. Um, we've been already two times here, so the first time was kind of a new thing. We yeah. didn't really have like big swells. We had a little swell, like one meter and a half. And it was the best way to start, like to get to know the place. <laughs> Also, we're lucky enough to stay in Tahure's place to no more like stay more in the locals, no more the local culture, the everything. Because now with the Olympics, it's kind of crazy, so many restrictions and stuff. So it was good to come here. We were also lucky to have Aritz, our, our coach. Mm -hmm. He's been here so many times. He knows everyone. He knows the wave better than anyone. So. It's been amazing so far. So the experience obviously being ISA World Surfing Games, this event is organized by the ISA as most people know already, but does it feel like just another World Surfing Games experience or does it truly feel like you're competing right here at the Olympics so far? I mean, it's half-half. It still feels like an ISA event because you see every person you see in the ISA events, mm -hmm. you compete with them as we competed in Puerto Rico in the last ISA World Surfing Games. But at the same time, all the hype, everyone at home, all the uh, media calling you, yep. all the interviews you have to do every day. So that's not as usual as it is. Well, that we truly do appreciate your time because of that, <laughs> because I know you probably had a million interviews so far this week. But World Surfing Games, Puerto Rico, you didn't lose a single heat up until the final. You got fourth place over there, but you qualified. You made it here. Like, what was it about that event over there in the Caribbean that not only brought out the best in you, it seemed like the team camaraderie was also there too. Yeah, I think we had a really nice team. We did like good group. We stay in a really nice house all together. And we were cooking every day all together, doing the family stuff we, we usually do at home. And we were supporting each other, a lot of good friends over there, all of us from the Basque Country, except Lucia, which she did also super good. But um, I don't know, I was, my, my goal for that event was to do the final. Mm -hmm. It was amazing to do it all the way from the main round, not, not going into the repeat charge, but I don't know, I was with the flow. <laughs> yeah, no, you were in a rhythm and it seemed yeah. that way like, since last year's World Surfing Games 2023, when we were in La Bocana over there in mm -hmm. El Salvador, it seemed like something changed about your, not only perspective on life, surfing overall. What do you think was the turning point for yourself, especially with your Challenger Series results right now? I mean, last year I didn't qualify for the Challengers, which mm -hmm. was kind of rough. Yeah. You know, we are all trying to go there. And also losing in the ISA, not qualifying was hard. So before uh, April from last year, I yeah. had a rough time, like losing so many times, not qualifying for 2020 or so. And then I, I, I changed kind of perspective. Okay, this year, last year, I decided to take it more as a, also a saving yeah. <laughs> because the challenger yeah, is so yeah. expensive. But at the same time, like try to get better, try to mo do, do more surf trips, try to surf more. Not right. so many focus on competing, competing because we are whole year competing. So we decided to go to Namibia. Yeah. And that was amazing as well. We had a really good time with Ado, Riker and Guille. And then they called me, I was in the event for Balito. And mm -hmm. since then, all, all went up yeah. <laughs> right now. You finished top 10. Yeah. And with that, you were able to re-qualify for this year's Challenger Series. Right now you're number six in the rankings, <laughs> but that trip to Namibia, it seemed like it changed your life. You also won a prize, an award during that event right yeah. there at Skeleton Bay, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. They were doing a skeleton shootout, or yeah. a monster shoot. I don't know how it's called, but yeah, uh, they were doing, I don't know, a special event over there. And mm -hmm. They said I got the best woman. Oh, I was the only woman there, but <laughs> I got a really nice barrel, so they, they gave me a price. Yeah, and barrel riding abilities before that event, and how were they compared afterwards from yourself? I mean, since they said uh, the Olympics were going to be here in mm -hmm. Tampa, of course, it was my goal, and I tried to find doing trips to those places where I could get barrel. Right. The first one was Desert Point. Yeah. Didn't. I got small barrels, but for me it was a beginning. Yeah. And then after, after I went to train to El Salvador, before the ISA, uh, we went to Nicaragua, which we got really good waves yeah. with no one out. So that's where it all started in the Namibia, and then we came here. So 
my barrel skills are getting better and better every day. And what about the experience surfing this wave here in Topo? It's obviously an amazing wave, world class, but most important thing, when it's big, it's very intimidating. How comfortable have you felt out there in the water so far? I mean, the first day you'd never feel comfortable in that kind of waves. You, we are not used to that. And the last time we came and there was a big swell coming yeah. and I was well, the night before I wasn't sleeping. I was like, oh, sleep. You need to be rested for that day. And I stayed in the channel for one hour and a half looking at the waves. I'm mm. like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to. But Ali told me, come to the lineup, stay there. Just if you feel like you're going to catch one, just catch. And if you don't, it's more than enough being out there. And there was a more west, yeah, it was a more yeah, west yeah. swell, so it was more like scary, it, no? Yeah, scary. Yeah. So I just was like, go for it. I was like, no, not this one, not this one. <laughs> but some local told me go, and I was like, oh, now I cannot say no. Yeah. I have to go for sure. So I found I got a nice, not like huge or anything, but for me it was like a, I, I break some barriers. Right, so. right. It was a stepping stone uh, into something better. Good. Yeah, Aritz Aramburu, you've mentioned him multiple times, obviously on the CT for many years. He's one of the most successful European surfers of all yeah. time, too. He made it to the semis here at a championship tour event. What kind of input has he given you so far that's been the most valuable to yourself? Yeah, well, he also won the trials here. Yeah, so. yeah. I don't know. He, he knows so many insights here, where to stay. Also, it's a really big feel, like mm -hmm. it's not... I thought it was going to be all the time the same spot, but it moved so much, yeah. the west, the south uh, wave. So he told us how to how to manage also the heat. It depends on it will depend on how how the waves are on the day. But I think he gave us a lot of tips for the for the event. Okay, an Olympian now. I know you're concentrated for this week right here. What kind of vacation can we expect out of you, Nadia? Once this event finishes, I know you're going straight to the U.S. Open. Do we have any plans for any non-surfing trips once you finish this leg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After U.S. Open, I will go to Switzerland. Oh, nice. My my mom is from Switzerland. And my grandparents are there, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna go stay one week there. It's like spa. Yeah. <laughs> Being there in summer, so I'll go one week at least, and then start preparing for the next event. Okay. So not even thinking about surfing when we're there in Switzerland. Maybe I will go to the wave pool, but just maybe. Not There's sure a small yet. chance. Yeah. Small chance. Maruru, thank Maruru. you very much. Thank Buena you so suerte, much. Nadia. Thank Muchas you. Gracias.